Health care is complex and challenging. America's medical system is facing major issues with revolutionary new medical technology, an aging population, rising costs, and too many people without access to medical care. Physicians, nurses, and other health care leaders across the country are all looking for ways to increase access and provide higher quality medical care for less money. Increasingly, national experts are turning to a Utah organization for answers. Anybody that knows about quality in health care knows about Intermountain Health Care. It is, without a doubt, one of the most uh, important organizations in the country in contributing ideas and in demonstrating success in the continual improvement of patient care. It's a, it's a great organization. Intermountain Healthcare, a Utah-based system of nonprofit hospitals and clinics, is considered a national model for providing effective and efficient medical care. But it's more than just a pioneer in clinical quality and innovation. Local healthcare advocates praise Intermountain for finding innovative ways to care for the uninsured and for providing financial assistance to patients who can't afford essential medical services. And if you look at what Intermountain has contributed over the last two decades to this community, it's incredible. More than 200 years ago, Benjamin Franklin founded America's first hospital on the principle of volunteer governance, providing care without regard to profit. Today, Intermountain Healthcare continues that philosophy. Hundreds of local citizens serve without pay as volunteer trustees to make the decisions that guide the organization. They hold Intermountain accountable for providing benefits to the community. Their goal is to provide excellent medical care the highest clinical quality provided with compassion at rates people can afford. Intermountain Healthcare operates clinics to care for people without insurance or access to medical care. These clinics provide primary care and preventive services. One Intermountain Clinic is in the Rose Park Elementary School in Salt Lake City. One of the things that really spoke to me about the mission of Intermountain Healthcare and why I wanted to be a part of the Intermountain family is the amount of um, charitable care that is given. For example, the clinic over um, in Rose Park within the school, right there, where you have parents coming in to, to bring their children who might have health care issues. The Utah State Department of Health is a great big agency in our state. We have about uh, 1,400 employees and a budget of almost $2 billion. But with that uh, large resource, we still can't do our job without help from partners in the private sector. Uh, Intermountain Healthcare is one of our uh, main partners in helping us achieve our mission. Last year, Intermountain provided just under $100 million worth of financial assistance to patients who needed help with medical bills, using standards defined by the State Tax Commission. This care represents about 200,000 patient cases in Intermountain's hospitals and clinics, this financial assistance does not include bad debt. Me and Seth did everything together, and we're best friends, and going through this has been really difficult. Um, Seth, all through the week, had just been not feeling very good. On Saturday, he seemed to be pretty good. We had gone to all of our kids' games. Um, he came home to take a nap, and I took the kids to do a little art festival in Ogden and when I came back I found my husband. When Seth had passed away I had a baby who was eight weeks old. Um, she was born early so she was in the ICU. The hospital bills were a lot because of the baby. My first thought was that I would have to sell my home and move my children from a home that their dad built for us. Because my husband did build this house himself we have tons of memories here. My kids put things in the walls like their important baseball cards. We have a horseshoe in there that was my husband's and that was for good luck. Um, lots of just silly things that were special to my kids. Me and Seth have had Intermountain Healthcare with all of our kids and they've all been in the ICU so they've all been huge bills. And with Alex it was just totally different because I didn't have my husband. So it was a huge deal for me to have Intermountain helped me out. I didn't expect them to pay everything off, but they did. 
Intermountain's goal is to be a partner with as many worthwhile health care providing organizations as possible and uh, partnerships are more successful than trying to go it alone. The Children's Center has been helping very young children in the community for over 45 years and we are specifically focused on infants, toddlers, and preschool age children with serious emotional and behavioral problems. When we're working with serious psychiatric disorders as a mental health clinic, we have learned that that's not something that we can do alone. Our partnership with Primary Children's has been really critical to look at the medical side of the issues that the children express and display at their homes. What CCS does is help the very, very poor, the homeless, uh, with basic needs primarily, um, and then the health issues, of course, are the, uh, uh, the drug and alcohol rehabilitation. We've been partners on several different things with uh, Intermountain Healthcare. We understand how those partnerships make us all stronger. I don't know because I was not part of the discussion, but knowing a little bit about the culture of, of Intermountain Healthcare, it's because they care. Intermountain Healthcare supports medical education in Utah through financial contributions and training collaborations. Nursing schools throughout the state have benefited from significant donations. The University of Utah's College of Nursing got a $3 million gift today. The gift comes from Intermountain Healthcare. It will provide funding for renovating the nursing building and creating a new training facility. We can be on the cutting edge with this extraordinarily generous gift. I have uh, found at every turn um, uh, partners willing to work with us to think about, again, the betterment of the state. Our ongoing collaboration with Intermountain Healthcare will help to transform the very future of nursing education. The partnership that we have forged will produce not just an adequate supply of nurses, but clinical experts that can ensure quality outcomes and provide optimal patient care. Healthcare education is exceedingly expensive, so it is very important that all who are interested in those outcomes participate, and uh, Intermountain does step up and uh, uh, provide significant support. Intermountain Healthcare is consistently ranked as one of the nation's top healthcare systems. Among healthcare experts and medical researchers, Intermountain is ranked with the Mayo Clinic and Johns Hopkins as one of the country's best hospital organizations. The Institute for Healthcare Improvement, IHI, was founded 15 years ago. We're a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to help improve healthcare systems all over the world. So I don't know if the people of Utah understand that Intermountain Healthcare is not just a regional resource, it's actually a global resource. And uh, many experts in the field of quality and healthcare improvement turn to Inter Intermountain time and again. Intermountain has become a a national resource based on their local and regional demonstrated and measured improvements. They're always pushing the envelope. Some of their achievements, such as their infection rates or the use of information technology, are world class. Uh, in some cases, absolutely top of the world, but they never stop. They're always trying to do better. Intermountain patients should recognize that at the heart of um, uh, this uh, concern about quality is better outcomes for them, better results, better performance of the system, and better professional development for those people who are giving them their care. And we have the outcomes. We know that the outcomes at Intermountain Healthcare are far better than in most other American organizations. You gotta be really honest about this challenge and problem in America and in our own community. Healthcare costs are soaring. Businesses are having a very difficult time keeping up with those costs. Without Intermountain Healthcare in our state, it would be a disaster. We would see immediately a shift upward in healthcare costs. According to the Utah Department of Health data, Intermountain Healthcare's hospital charges are 18% lower on average than the charges of other Utah hospitals. Intermountain Healthcare's outpatient surgery charges are 33% lower on average than the charges of other Utah hospitals and ambulatory surgical centers. Merritt Medical is a company that employs almost 1,700 employees. We're the leader in accessories for interventional cardiology and radiology worldwide. We have five factories, but most of our facilities or a good portion of our facilities are located here in the state of Utah. We're homegrown. I'm pleased with the delivery of healthcare in Utah. 
I'm pleased with the choices that we have in Utah. I'm pleased with the cost structure, although I don't think it's a perfect system. I do believe that the costs are at least reasonable, in fact, more than reasonable compared to other states. In fact, we look to move jobs here because of the favorable cost structure in Utah, which have to do with health insurance, which is probably the largest single expenditure in Utah. For one specific plan, it cost me about $600 for a family. And remember, Merritt is paying about 75% of these costs. In the very same program, outside of the state of Utah, it's over $1,220. That's double. Now think about me adding $600 a month of cost for each employee that I have, and I have a thousand. You can do the math. It's a lot of money. I mean, we're doing something right here to help our citizens and our businesses. We're doing something right. And I've seen very sharp people who are taking responsibility and accountability in many different areas of Intermountain Healthcare. They are hungry, they want to improve, they want to really show the community that they're at the top of their game, and they're looking for all kinds of areas where they can make enhancements. 20 after the hour, and once again, here's Ann. Matt, thanks. Four-year-old sisters in Utah who were born joined at the midsection are living apart for the first time this morning. They were separated overnight in a marathon surgery. The operation to separate the girls is believed to be the first of its kind ever performed on conjoined twins who shared a kidney. Um, we just like to formally announce that we have two separate little girls. and. We're very excited. We hear they're doing great. It's so nice to have a hospital that has all the technology that you could get anywhere else in the world. You don't have to fly to New York or something if you have a serious ailment um, for your child. And it's all right here. Shortly after Kendra and we were born, there was a brand new MRI machine that could take the body and turn it so that they could see through the images, twist it and turn it any direction to see whatever the doctors needed to do. All these wonderful things are happening in our own backyards at Primary Children's. And it's just amazing. You never have to worry about it because if there was an emergency, you know your child's being very well taken care of. I don't know how many parents came up to us after our surgery and said that their child had cancer or whatever it was, and they said that it brought them comfort to see our story on, on TV and know that these people are gonna take good care of their children. And it's, it's comforting to parents and it's comforting to people all over the world to see primary children doing separation surgeries or curing cancer. You don't hear about it very much of all the wonderful things that they do. I think they should hear about it more often. Intermountain Healthcare is generous. They, they help others, they help the world, and people in Utah may not realize how often we, scientists and students and advocates for quality, turn to that organization for assistance, and they are always ready, they always help. Intermountain Healthcare gets a lot of attention from national and local experts. It's looked to as a model for providing high quality care at lower rates than those of other American healthcare organizations. It operates and supports community clinics to help people without insurance in communities across the state. And it provides millions of dollars in financial assistance for patients who can't afford essential medical care. It supports medical education and works with community partners to improve the health and well-being of all Utahns. No healthcare organization is perfect, and Intermountain Healthcare doesn't claim to have all the answers. Medicine today is complex, and there are major challenges facing America's health care delivery system. Intermountain will continue to partner with others in the community to find solutions that work for the people of the Intermountain region.